and was a founding member of the World Federation in 1920. Um, so that, that gives us a really big uh, membership base. So membership figures used to be around 100,000. Um, currently, they sit at around 13,500 with another five to 6,000 uh, children affiliations. So it's really, the history gives us a very strong base. Um, lots of players, lots of coaches. Um, some of the Irish players were some of the best players in the world in the 1940s and 50s with numerous uh, All England titles. So uh, I think the real strength of Mountain Island is the history. So the last uh, couple of Olympic Games, we've been lucky enough to have uh, Olympians, two Olympians in Scott Evans and Colin McGee. So they were both in the Beijing Olympics and the London Olympics. And I think both of them really improved over the four years, uh, reaching sort of last 32, last 16 sort of status in, in London. And both will be around towards the, the Rio Olympic Games. I think that gives us a really good base to, to build upon, gives the profile of the sport, gives a role model for the younger players coming through and gives a lot more kind of interest into to all levels of Bamden. Um, so they've been great ambassadors for the sport over the last four to eight years. We have a, a complete athlete talent pathway for young players coming to the sport. We have a, a good schools program, so players who start playing at a very young age at primary and secondary schools. We have 380 clubs, which they would then feed into. Uh, above that then there are county and branch uh, teams which would really be at the bottom of our real elite pathway. Uh, so players would really try to represent the, the branches and then they would go into the national underage squads and the, th and the 13s and the 15s and the 17s. Well the event this weekend is the Interpros. Uh, so it's Ulster, Leinster, Munster and Connacht all playing against each other. And there's obviously different age groups from under 13 right up to the vets. Um, so it should be a good level of and um, Tomorrow I'm playing in the, the senior team and hopefully Ulster come out with the win. <laughs> The technique program is um, it's a skills based program, so seven, seven sort of progressive levels, some of the karate belts, but instead of getting a belt you get a t-shirt. So it starts off with white and you work your way up to black and you have to demonstrate certain levels of, of technical competence at those uh, different um, footworks and, and shots to be able to progress. So it's great for kids, um, Around we use it as part of our talent identification process. Uh, so all of the kids coming into the national squad should be kind of black belt and 15. But um, participation and, and adults love, I love it as well. It's a kind of a one hour delivery and, and it's, it gives something new at every level. And um, it's, it's gone down really well over the last year. National squad for Bams in Ireland is made up of mostly professional players, um, and it's a brilliant squad to be on because we're all training twice a day and competing in the European circuits. So it's getting good, good high level of Bamsden. The weekly training schedule would be uh, twice a day for six days a week. Um, so it's pretty tough, but I wouldn't be doing it if I, I didn't enjoy it. It's mostly made up of uh, badminton, so on-court work, and S&C uh, work twice a week. Um, to try and get me more stronger on the court and being able to do big jump smashes. Yeah, so historically the, the organisation has been funded by affiliations, um, the, every, every member would pay an affiliation of 18 euros to the Bank of Ireland and really that's what funds the organisation. And then we also have funding from the Irish Sports Council around uh, participation, uh, women's sport pro projects, the High Performance Programme has a separate funding. I work very closely with Sport Northern Ireland um, and their SNC and Physio up there. But on a day to day basis, it would be BAMS in Ulster and, and BAMS in Ireland as well. So, like the high performance coach Tom Clouser 
and the uh, Irish national coach Daniel McGee and um, I would deal a lot day to day with, with them. Next month we're bringing a world class coach Lee J. Bock, a Korean coach over for a week and he's going to do a number of workshops each evening in, in the Dublin and Galway area. So really just trying to be innovative and, and trying to come up with different ways to, to, to kind of find something interesting for the members that can be self-financed. Yeah, I think the, the future for Bampton Island is looking rosy at the moment. Um, as I said, we've got Olympic players, we've got a good talent pathway, some, some good staff involved with the, the system at the moment. Uh, Dan McGee, national coach. Uh, Tom Reedy is the performance director. Um, our affiliations are stabilised and growing again after a decline over the last decade, really. Um, and I think it's the accumulation of the, the school's project, the Olympic success, uh, everything working together has really made the, the difference. And I think we've been quite innovative with the, the production of all the events. We're quite good on social media. And I think all of those areas uh, need to work together to, to move everything forward. So anybody that wants to get started in Bampton can find information on the Bampton Island website. So it's bamptonisland.com. Um, on there there's a club finder. There's uh, links to all the clubs in Ireland. Um, there's a club finder by a Google search facility so you can just put in your location and you'll find the clubs within your area. Uh, contact with all the sports partnerships. Um, contact with all the national squads and uh, the, the Bampton Island Academy as well. So any, any player that wants to get involved will find uh, lots of information on there.